Before we get into the video guys, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins. To be in with a chance of winning them, simply make sure you're subscribed to my channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More giveaway details within the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today we're going to cover the recent roadmap put out from respawn on apex legends and what's coming going forward into new seasons but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button if you are new around here and apex legend videos is what you want to see be sure to subscribe Okay, so Apex Legends took the world by storm, quite frankly in my opinion, dropping all of a sudden with no betas or alphas and still being the best battle royale game out there for you to play. And it's free as well, people. I mean, what is there to complain about? It's also, in my opinion, the most fluid as well. I mean, like... Like I said, no alphas, no betas, just to drop it on the world and it's just so smooth and fluid, it's unbelievable. Fair play to Respawn. And the game's even big now, tournaments for crazy money have already started with Dizzy's team featuring Ninja taking the first tournament, with Dizzy getting a world record 33 kills in a single game, which is absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, Apex Legends is truly an amazing game and it's no surprise with its success, small things to keep the game feeling fresh and updated are coming. Respawn on Twitter not long, uh, dropped the roadmap for the game which you guys can see on screen now so we can see so far it's consistent of four seasons the first season which we are already in season two is coming in june season three in september and season four is coming at the end of the year in december i mean like they are seriously planning ahead almost a whole year ahead craziness so what comes with each season well it quite clearly states new legends new weapons and new loot but nothing about these new weapons legends or loot has been showcased but if i were to guess i'd probably say there'll be two characters per season meaning besides the eight in game now i believe by december at the end of the year there'll be 14 or more characters to play with they also mentioned new weapons coming too now we all know the weapons in game now have been a part of that time for armory in the past some weapons we do see minor changes with but for the most part all the weapons we see in apex legends have been in a past titanfall game which is fine because titanfall as well as you well know is an amazing game and the weapons just feel great as they do in apex but there are a few weapons we do not see in apex legends which are in titanfall weapons such as the car the alstar and the vault so will we see variants of these weapons come with these new seasons maybe so people minimal work needed to port them by respawn and it would still add a variety of arsenal in apex which makes sense but we will see people we will see but expect our first glimpse of new characters and new weapons just before the next season comes in june interestingly the roadmap mentions new loot also now in my opinion the loot right now is perfect so what can they add? I'm guessing maybe a few different grenade variants, more attachments for weapons maybe, new means of health and shield recovery, and maybe even new armors. It will be seriously interesting to see though what they incorporate here because in my opinion, simple changes in terms of trying to keep things fresh can sometimes ruin the balance of the game and we have seen this many different times with different battle royale games in the past. So I just really hope Respawn do the necessary testing here and balance them right. Now besides what we see on this roadmap, not much else is known about what changes are coming going forward with Apex Legends. We do know they're trying to work on cross-platform play. In a recent interview with Eurogamer, Respawn Entertainment's lead producer Drew McCoy confirmed that cross-play for Apex Legends is in the works and will be coming at some point in the game's lifespan. However, there is no date set for an update just yet but it can't be too far into the future. And if you are to believe rumours out there, cross-platform play will see PlayStation and Xbox players being able to team up and face off against each other, which would be just absolutely incredible. But news on cross-platform play at the minute is quite scarce, but if any new information drops here, guys, I will have you covered right here on my channel for sure. But yeah, the roadmap's interesting. I mean, it doesn't drop massive details about the game and going forward and what we will get, but at least we know new legends, new weapons, and new loot is definitely underway. It's basically four months till we get a new season in season two, which comes June. Can this game keep up though? I mean, three months is quite a while to wait. Three or four months is quite a while to wait for a new season. Will the game last that long? Well, I ain't completely sure on that. You let me know your opinion on this down below within that comment section, people. But yeah, guys, just another Apex Legends video. Just to keep you 
you guys updated on the latest news surrounding the game. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you want new rounds here and enjoy daily Apex videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.